Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, giving you a thrifty guide to Skyrim. I showed you Anissa's cabin, which makes a nice bachelor pad, but now you are level 20 or more, and things are happening. Yet, you are too cheap to purchase a house, or don't have enough coin. You are thinking of settling down, maybe raising children. Forget that. Let the streets and orphanages raise the vagrants. For a couple of hundred, you can actually get a house in Whiterun and a gorgeous bride, Mary Yzolda. Yzolda is a comely Nord woman with a house of her own in Whiterun. She dreams of being a caravan merchant or trader, maybe owning the Bannered Mare. She knows a lot about the Kaji. She is also a drug dealer, but more on that later. You can marry Isolde after getting her a mammoth tusk. If you watched my video on hunting mammoths, you probably have already done this. Tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Phil. In order to get the marriage going, you need to travel to Riften and find Marmal, the priest of Mara. Yeah, over here, yep, yep, over here in Riften. If Marmal is not in the Temple of Mara, he is probably in the Bee and Barb Lady Tavern Mara, preaching. To her benevolence. From Marmal, find out about Mara and marriage in Skyrim. People of Riften, blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Purchase the amulet of Mara Here you for are. 200 yeah, coin remember, and then you can go demons. and marry Yzolda. people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. This is one of the signs. Back in Whiterun, you have to find Yzolda to ask her to marry you. If she is not in the town square, check by the castle. She is usually up there, selling flowers or maybe drugs to the Jar Jarl and his kids. Ah, there she is. Now, put on the amulet of Mara and ask her hand in marriage. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. Well, yes, why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. She said yes! She said yes! Now, go I back to Riften, find Marala, and what arrange the, the wedding. Man? Blessings of Mara upon you. May you return to her benevolence. How may I help you, Mike? You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Go to the bee and barb. Wait or get a room. Does not matter. I chose to wait. 24 hours, so it is 8 a.m. the next morning. I'm not going to slog through this.
It's the next day and attend your wedding ceremony. Go back to the temple and then marry ah, Yisolda. The proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do, now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? Once you are married, you, stay with me. you agree to live in Yisolda's house. Our new home. I'll see you there. Anyone you marry in Skyrim usually has some place to crash. Yisolda just happens to have a house. No extra room for kids. Back in Whiterun, you have to go and find Yisolda's place and check it out. Yisolda's house is not huge. There's furnishings, a cooking pit, some very basic decorations. I mean, it's kind of drab, small. You know, wolf pelt on a table. And there's basically a partition to a small room with a wardrobe. You know, there's table with potatoes, book, other stuff. The book, Gentleman's Guide to White Run. Why is she reading this? Who knows? But she's married to you now. There's a chest with some gold, gonna take that. A small bed, some nightstand with gold, gotta take that. Now you can take your time moving all your stuff from your former bachelor pad in the woods to Yisolda's house. You can fill the containers and not worry about everything being stolen and unsaleable. Even decorate a bit with troll skulls and cheese wheels. In the next video, we will deal with Yozolda's drug dealing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.